talking about July 15, um, I was like, I, I witnessed everything from like the start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I witnessed <laughs> everything from like the start. Even uh, James, James and Mooney's here, Divi, we were all there in Australia together. Yeah. And I had no clue like, like something like that can actually happen. Like someone can like have a breakdown. I never, I never knew, you know, I, yeah. I never knew that can actually it's happen. It's so funny. Um, What's up, guys? This is Adam Saleh. Yo, what's up? This is Slim Alberher. What's going on? And welcome to another episode of Socially Profiled. Woo! Yep, we're we here. currently here in LA. LA is one of my favorite cities, but I would never like I would never want to live here. I don't know why, because I feel like I feel like living here, you just like you get sucked in around so many people. People who are like, I don't know, man. Like, you know, you know what's funny? I was in an Uber yesterday, right? Yeah. And then this guy says, You can't spell flake without LA. And I was like, Yo, <laughs> I'm dead. That's, that's the best way to describe LA. Yeah, and I, in LA, there's like, <laughs> literally, there's a lot of, uh, it's like everyone is doing the same thing you're doing. So it was just like, you know, you know, everyone just looks at you like I don't, competition. It's, it's no one really man. comes together and stuff like that. But with the, with the person we have, with the special guest we have today, it's, it's someone that, you know, we've, We've known for so long. We've we've been through so shit. much, and like, a and at the end stuff. of the day, you know, we're brothers and we're we're a team. You know, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're we're doing it for the culture, for the Arabs. Guys, please welcome the one, the only Yusuf Arakat, aka Fusi. What's up? Yer. Oh, oh my God! Can I get a year? Year. Can I get a year? Oh wow! It was Gucci. Was that, Gucci? That's the most bro. Californian year I ever heard. Yeah, bro. it was good, y'all. <laughs> Chilling, bro. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Good I'm right, hoping yeah. that y'all have a good episode lined up for me. Got some good questions. Oh. You're going, you're going, you're going to pry the right stuff out of me. It's already, it's already good. Look how shiny his mouth is, bro. No, that, those grills are popping, man. Thank Seriously, you. I those appreciate are dope. Hey, Thank you. But I'm um, uh, the, man, don't check the bag. <laughs> hey, yo, don't check the bag. <laughs> nah, I like I like the whole the whole uh, outfit you got thank on. You, Yeezys, thank you. I gained you know a little saying? bit of weight, so I'm not okay. feeling too comfortable right now in my skin. Nah, we're chilling. This is shit happens. In this, in this podcast, we have like literally we say whatever we want. It's unfiltered. It's raw. It's stuff that we talk about. Not on YouTube. Not on Twitter at all. Okay. You yeah, know, like it's it's a judge. It's a judge free zone. Judge Everyone okay, listen. Okay, be good, yourself. Good, good. Say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Oh, whatever wow. is on your mind. Man. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> but um, uh, yo, it's good to have you, Phil. I'm uh, thank you for for being here, for coming through, and thank you for having me. It's been anytime. a while since I got to speak, so that's why I'm excited to speak. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to hear you speak too because you've been kind of like MIA, yeah, MIA. Have key. I been low key, bro? Like with, with, oh, okay. with talking, with talking. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, oh, true, true, what's true. Going on, you know? my, my true self. Definitely, yeah. People yeah. people love to know what what's going on with you. Yeah, yeah you I know? haven't spoken in a while. I don't open up too what's, much. What's what's been up? What's new, man? Like, um, nothing, man. I'm yeah. working on myself. Um, yeah. and to do that, you got to sacrifice a lot. So right now, I'm in a zone where I'm working on myself and my personal life and what I want to achieve, my aspirations, mm -hmm. without the chase for fame or clout. So I that's why that. you don't see me much on YouTube. You don't that. see me much on Instagram. Wow. I'm doing it with the forethought of already knowing like the way you're living the way you're doing stuff you're not going to be famous you're not going to be popular people aren't going to be checking in on you yeah. but you know you're doing it for a greater purpose so i kind of take uh, i've taken like a step back till that's i figure amazing. things out as always that's dope that's dope oh wow man um, I, uh, I noticed that you've been like auditioning a lot too as well, yeah, right? yeah yeah back into auditioning and stuff i'm trying to get back in that's what i want to do man i want to act and I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what happens. All it takes is that one film, yeah. that one. Um, I actually have one on my radar right now that I can't wait to audition for and that I want. And I want to put it out there because um, I want the law of attraction to work for me. It coming out with the, out, yeah. uh, Millennium Films is coming out with The Legend of Sinbad. And no way like like a movie yeah wow yeah it's gonna be huge. that is so sick it's gonna be yeah. massive it's gonna be a franchise that's exclusive that's news that's yeah, yeah. why does that sound so familiar I don't you know, know you know the i'm sorry i'm sinbad. sorry sinbad sinbad oh my god this dude, he watches naruto anime come on don't oh my on. god come on bro it happens it happens oh my god it's all good it's all good but, i'm uh <laughs> but um fusi you were do you know are you aware that you're the you were the first arab middle eastern youtuber are you aware that I am a hundred percent. You're the first. Yeah, you're the yeah. first. You guys have both have a lot of history together. Too. Yeah, of like, course. We've of known course. each other since 2012. But you started like, I, I've been 
I've been wa watching your videos since you started, 2011. So Yo, I, was, I remember, yeah. I remember, and this is just throwing this out there. I remember yeah. when you were still True Story ASA, yeah. and you guys would comment on my Facebook page. Hey, damn. Yeah. I don't know who, I'm not I saying would, it was you. No, it might no, not have been you. Yeah. But y'all were like, somebody was commenting yeah. on my page, like, yo, big fans, da da da, da, yeah. da love to work and stuff like that. Oh, so I knew you from back in the day. Oh, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Back yeah. in the day you, when people thought, who the fuck are these little Oh, 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I didn't, there, there wasn't that sense of community back back then or the yeah. understanding of like you know we could all do this together and it was all brand new so yeah. it was uh, it was different yeah. it was it was yeah it was much different and it was like it was cool i i, I like that time though it was dope you know I, you were uploading a lot of that was crazy. a good time i was younger man like yeah. a lot of people don't recognize that like i'm much older now yeah so a lot of the perception how do you now if you don't if i'm 30 Wow, you don't you don't see it like when yeah yeah I'm thirty I'm twenty six so it's just like I'm close yeah, I'm yeah, getting there yeah you'll be there soon trust me it happens fast oh but, man thanks for um, letting me know <laughs> yeah I was young so a lot of the things that people know of me or know from me is when I was just really young like you know growing yeah, wow. up growing up in my twenties like now I'm in my thirties so like people still don't know me nobody yeah. knows me nobody understands me because I've never known how to show that to social media yeah. Yeah, that's difficult. I, mean, I remember when I was like, before I like I was on YouTube, I used to watch both of you guys. You know, I was a fan of both of you guys, and I remember both of you guys were on like audition is going to Ellen. Sh uh, you guys were on the dance there. Oh my there. god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember oh that. God. And then you got, there was like a competition. <laughs> they had this whole poll on the website, and then you had to vote for and the winner goes yeah, to that, the Ellen. That got show. crazy. Yeah, it got, it got, got, it got really competitive. I remember, and there was like yeah. a little like there was like, a huge beef. There was, there was a beef crazy. between both of y'all. But then we met up at the um at the Universal. Hotel. Yeah, and we met up at the hotel, and we were cool and everything, and it was cool then. And it wasn't yeah. until we departed where it went all shitty again. For yeah, whatever it was, reason. Yeah, it was just, it was like, I feel like it was maybe an ego thing for yeah. both, both of yeah, us. Yeah, young kids. Yeah. Young kids going through it. And it was plus, I, I think your fans and my fans, they were just going at it. Yeah. You remember it was Tubians. The Tubians yeah, yeah, and the Doomie yeah, Gang were yeah. just, wow, they were just going that. at it. I remember every detail. I remember every detail of story. So I can tell you that oh. whole story. Yo, I, say it, bro. No, we ain't going to get know, into come that. On. Nah. I'm in the dark, though. That's we, why I never heard. Like, I remember. Okay, I, never I remember the names of your fans. It's dead. That was years ago when we were kids. It's interesting. People like, like, like. Nah, no, 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 no. We we focus on the friends, now. Y'all friends now. No, we too, talking about the yeah, now. now. We here to talk but, about the yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. Um, Damn. now, now is like, is much like much more different. Like it's all of us are together. We stopped making, and a lot of people. I don't like how a lot of people. Like, I know the people that are listening. Like, I hate when people say, "Oh, y'all stopped making Arabic Islamic videos. Y'all stopped making this videos." It's like we've done. It's like we've done it all. You know, yeah. what other idea do we have? Well, I stopped doing that years ago. Yeah. I got to the point where I had just finished Middle Eastern Family episode. I believe it was, what, how many did I do? I think it was four. Yeah, few, and yeah. the fifth one was supposed to do re the reveal of Fatma. And yeah, I you had never gotten to a Fatima point John. where I was like, <laughs> this is the highest I'll, I can ever get to um, doing this stuff. And everybody's doing it now. Yeah. So the best way to do it and sustain that legacy is just to back off, stop, and let it live wow. forever. Wow. So that's why I stopped. And that's why that's people smart. still ask about it for this day. I didn't run it into the water. But then you have somebody like Lily Singh yeah. who came into the scene. Yeah. Did it with um, her parent, like, you know, dressing up as her parents and stuff. Yeah. And did everything that I could have done had I not stopped. Yeah, taking oh, it on tour, another level, yeah. making it a part of her show, Why didn't making you do it a part of her niche. I just got tired of it. I was done. Like I just, You're I bored. got to the point where I wanted to stop. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know where else I could take it, so I yeah. wanted to stop. Yeah, and I, I think it's cool that you did like that. You stopped, and people are still talking about it. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, people yeah, still, for sure. You can still go back to those videos and watch it yeah. and laugh your ass yeah, off. Yeah, like, that's why. Like to be honest, I haven't really created or done much in years, but yeah. my name is always still brought up from people because of the memories that it brought them. And yeah. they'll never forget that. Like, you know, like Fousey tube, like, course, damn, yeah. I grew up watching you. Yeah, like Middle you East, made my family Middle laugh. Every, 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 laugh. Every Middle Eastern kid, like pretty much grew up. Like, yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. like you know, like that's when like YouTube w w started popping off, you know, like mm -hmm. in general, did, did like, you, know? did you ever get like hate or like judgmental people? Like, you, you know, giving you comments at that, at the time when you were doing like the Middle Eastern Stuff? At the time, no, because the perception that I gave of people of myself was exactly aligned with the content I was creating. So it wasn't yeah. like today where they see me smoking weed yeah, and, or they see me out, out with girls. Yeah. And then they if I were to make a Middle Eastern video where they would be like, what the hell? How are you living these two different lives? Yeah. In the past, when I was making the Middle Eastern skits, I was You're perceiving myself to be 
this young Muslim Palestinian yeah. who valued his belief system, his family and yeah. everything. So they, they accepted it. They enjoyed it. They looked up to me for it. Yeah. It wasn't until they saw another side of me. So you were living a double life? A hundred percent. I feel like... I can, I can relate to you. Yeah. I can relate to you. I'm not gonna lie. You don't, you don't know how many... And I, I'm not here to get into religion. I don't talk yeah. about religion. I don't want to talk about religion. But yeah. I will say on that note, you don't know how many Muslim kids today are still living a double life every single day oh, from very, very, oh, very I young see it everywhere. ages. I see it wow. everywhere. Yeah, the only difference it. was mine was public. Yeah. Like, they're still... Telling their parents, like, yo, I'm going out to, you know, Rami's house yeah. because we're going to hang out. But they're really going <laughs> really out, go going drinking, to house. smoking, yeah. hanging out with girls oh, and all that stuff. Most it's, definitely. But it just sucks that, like, yours is public and then you get people out of nowhere just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, being judgmental. Oh, you're not being close to Islam. This is not, And it's not even about religion anymore. You know, this is a this is more about, I feel like, what's in your heart as a person. You know, you're... you're very true, yeah. but here's the thing, like... I, I understand them. Yeah. When I look at myself from an outsider perspective and I see the kind of videos I used to put out and the kind yeah. of messages I used to put out and then yeah. look at myself now and I understand their belief systems are still the same and how they are, I understand where they're coming from 100%. And that's why I don't like, I, I don't even look at the mockery. Like even when we were doing our boxing match and you were like, um, <laughs> you're the joke of Muslim Twitter, Arab Twitter. Oh, that was to get in your head, bro. No, no, no. I know, but <laughs> yeah. here's the thing, though. The reason it didn't reach me is because I never look at that stuff. Wow, I don't see it. Uh, that's a shit. I, I don't mean, like, want to see. I see. It. I see. I see my timeline all the time. Yeah, bro. I don't want to see it. So if they're talking, that's so good that I don't know. It's funny because it's, it's, it's you and Adam. It was. It's, it's you two. I'm, I'm, I'm the clown right now. Adam, but Adam is still in it. Yeah, Adam still. I'm, I'm the clown right now. Because I took a picture with James Charles. Yeah, he's getting violated for taking a picture with James Charles. What do you think about that? I'm getting violated for, for taking a picture with James Charles. You know what? It's since, it's since he's gay, the, the Muslim you, the Dawah people, they're like, why am I posting a picture with someone who's gay? I'm I'm making it seem like it's normal. To, that's what he's saying. But I took a picture with him as an, another influencer. You know, it's, it's his choice. That's There's so many to other me, people. To like, me, like I said, I'm not going to speak my beliefs and stuff. That, to yeah. me, that like is outrageous yeah, and it's just crazy. funny to me because what's funny to me is what i've learned is the same people hating on you for taking pictures with james charles are the same people who support james charles so yeah. they'll support like the, the somebody will support kevin hart who does cringy tiktoks or cusses or does something but if i do that same things then it's yeah. a problem but yeah. it's like yo you're supporting kevin hart he's doing exactly that how That's come so in wow. your yeah. mind it's not okay that i do it but it's yeah. okay when he does it so there's 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 two sides to every story That's but right. it's yeah. it's not even worth getting into really yeah but it's, it's just annoying because i've it was all over i've never gotten almost ten thousand comments in a picture and non-stop tweets of wow. i've seen the Oh, your name was being brought into it. So yeah. I, I was reading it and it was so like, how do you deal with stuff Bro, like that? Because I, the year I took a year off the yeah. internet, yeah. I was still getting talked about. I was still yeah. on drama alert. I was still people like, you know, so if they're talking about you, let them talk. Your yeah. name is still being brought up because if they're not talking about you, then you got an issue. Yeah. If they're talking enough, they care. And yeah. they're there. So let them talk. Let them run it up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. All it's that's just, doing is boosting your engagement. But and they, they always forget the good moments. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, I'm going to sound like, a, like I'm going to sound like I'm bragging if I'm like, yeah, well, I did this charity. I did that charity. You did so many charity for Palestine. You've, yeah, yeah, I did a charity boxing event. I did this and that. There's so much that you can say you've done, you know, but they don't never mention that. They only mention the bad stuff. <laughs> that, that's that's life. That's, yeah. How, yeah, that's the, how society it, yeah. and that's how the media works these yeah. days. Like, look at any of these celebrities who get caught in a scandal. It's like everything they've done their whole lives, it gets thrown out the window. Yeah. And I'm not saying, I'm not justifying their scandals. I'm just yeah. saying all it takes is one thing for people to forget. There was a sheikh very early on in my career who taught me, he was like, um, yo, this fame is very fickle. Um, meaning one day they can love you and the next day they could hate you just like that. And that's, I've learned so that true. so much wow. in my career. I've yeah. been loved and hated so much throughout my career. Yeah. It's it's not even a thing at this point. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn, I, that's I, I see you as a as like different from like 2012, 2013. You're more yeah. like you don't give a fuck. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah 100%. And I want to yeah. learn how to portray that onto YouTube and how to portray that on my social medias. But that's the trouble that I have. I don't yeah. know how to live on this life of social media. Yeah. That's why I'm spend most of my time off of it do you think it ha like i had it like being on social media for this long you know you know worrying about like numbers whatever all this stuff is like like had a toll like on like 
It's very your traumatic. Health, like, like it's your very health traumatic. A hundred percent. It's very traumatic. I think had I not done social media, I would be a completely different person right now. I feel like I would be more of a 30 year old than I am. I don't see mm. myself as a mature 30 year old. And mm. I think that's due to the inability for my inside soul that's to so grow <laughs> because of the trauma that it endured throughout the years after reading so many things that people are saying about me and how they feel about me and who I am. Like just the other day, I went on some, I don't Twitch anymore because people re-upload my broadcast to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And I clicked one of those re-broadcasts and I read all the comments, hundreds of comments. And I clicked wow. on another video and read another one. Every single one was the most vile, negative, hurtful, hateful, like criticism that I could ever, ever, ever experience yeah, yeah. in life. And it like, it took a toll on me. I was like, damn. Some people forget, you know, they forget like- It's not even about yeah. forgetting, it's just, damn, here I am thinking I'm just living my life, talking to this camera, hanging out with these people, but I'm getting scrutinized and ridiculed yeah. and ripped apart for being yeah. who I am. Yeah. So it's like, am I a shitty person? I had to ask myself that. Nah, I was like, not, wow. nah. I had to ask myself, am I a shitty person? Nah. Yo, am I what so these deep, people are bro. saying? Like, yeah. am I am I truly what they're telling me that I am? So. Even even with the, all the comments that I've seen about you, so, so many shitty comments about you. Def, in my head, I'm like, they don't they don't know you. They yeah. don't know you. I mean, I can say, me and Slim, we, we know you, maybe not on, on another level of, of knowing you, knowing you, but we know you, and you're- no, I show you guys my true self. Yeah, I, but definitely yeah, you're- That's why I enjoy you guys' you're, company. Yo, you, you, have, you have a good heart. You, you're, you're a normal- Yeah. Like, There's not yeah. anybody who's met me in my real life who hasn't said, like, who hasn't just been like, you know what? You're a good person. Hold on to that. Because they see that I'm not what they might see in other people in LA. There's yeah. no vendetta. There's no hidden agenda. There's no- like there's no intention behind what I do or what I say. I'm yeah. kind of just like very truthful and honest to who I am, and that's what gets me in trouble a lot. No, yeah. but I, I, I honestly I respect the realness though. You know, like I I rather someone be, be real and upfront and like lie about like mm -hmm. who they are as a person. You know. H how old were you when you moved to LA? I moved in 2013, which 2000, made me yeah. I think 23 years old. 23 years old, if and I'm not mistaken. And when then I'm at. ever since then you've been living in LA. I have. I actually yeah. moved out of LA for a year. Um, when I had my breakdown and I moved to yeah. New Jersey to be with my family for a full year. And yeah, that's the first time we hung out too. Do, do you feel like... Was it the first, I, think, Which I, one? I think it was the first time I hung out with him. I think we went, yeah. to, the, went to the boxing gym in Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. we went to the boxing gym? We, we, yeah. we trained. Yeah. I was chubby at the time though. Was, definitely. Yeah. And Adam had that sparring Not definitely match. you were chubby. I mean, definitely that was the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't remember you being chubby. But yeah, that was the first. And then we, and we went to your mom's house and they made food yeah. for us. Yeah. yeah. Do you, that was a good time. Do you, do, you, do you feel like LA, like living in LA... Like kind of like fucks you up because I've always been offered to move to LA, live to live in LA, you know, with the, these YouTubers. Uh -huh. but I've always said no because like I always feel like I'd rather just stay with my family, yeah. my nieces and nephews. That's that's how my content is in a way too. Hindsight is always twenty twenty, and had I been given the chance, I don't think I would have came to LA, especially as early as I would have. Yeah. Even right now at thirty years old, I don't really know what I'm doing in LA outside of the fact that I know I want to act. Yeah. But in terms of a conducive, normal personal lifestyle. It's not the best for me at all. Yeah. At all. I don't I don't live the LA life. I don't have a lot of friends out here. Yeah. It's not like I have like that's why I enjoy when you guys come out here because it's like, yo, I have somebody to do stuff with. Even us when but we, when you guys we got, aren't yeah. here, it's 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 not like that. And I'm alone a lot. You don't feel like you could just move somewhere else? There's or you nowhere have to, else I know where I where I should be or need to be. I don't know. Other I than really, LA. Other than LA. I don't know where I want to be in life. That's why I wanted to move and travel the world yeah. a year ago because I didn't know where I belonged or where I should be or what I should be doing. Well, I remember you saying one time, you were like, 30 is the new 20, which is true. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You still, you look oh, yeah. 20. You look 20. Nah, 30 no, is the new young. 20. 30 is young. You're still young Once as you hell. Once you 30, yeah. you realize like, damn, I'm still young. Now, when you look at it in relation to these TikTok stars who are like 15 years old, 16 years old, yeah. you're going to feel your age. But yeah. other than that, you're still very young. Yeah, yeah. man. Tick TikTok has took over, bro. Like, <laughs> when I was in Playlist Live, like, it's all, it's majority TikTokers. Yeah. Literally, majority TikTok. You, you made a TikTok, right? You jumped on the way. I made one. Yeah, I made a TikTok, couple. Yeah. I deleted all of them, though. I just kept one up. Yeah. So are you going to jump on the wave or? Nah, because like I, I went I went to hang out at King Batch's house and that's where they like they all get together. I'm talking about like 40 people and they're all filming TikToks. Like what? Yeah. Like yeah. Wait, they, wait, wait, 40 people filming TikToks? They like, all show up at his house. Yeah. And there's like groups of people. That's dope. And every corner you look, they're filming different TikToks. Wow. They wow. probably film like eight TikToks a day. Wow. What? And they do it every day. That's um, pretty dope. That sounds crazy. And when I was that's there and I was doing it, I was asking myself, I was like, 
what is the reason I'm doing this for? Like in my heart, this is not what I want to be doing. Like yeah. I don't want to be creating these TikToks, but I felt like because everybody was doing it, it was what I was supposed to be doing. But I feel like my, I have a greater purpose and I don't necessarily want to play that game in order to play the game I want to play. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, nah, but definitely you should still like, since you've made one, just to have fun with it. Every, I got ideas. It's good having yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, I have ideas. Yeah. I have ideas of stuff I want to do. A lot of them require having people around. And like I said, I'm alone a lot. So it's who, hard. Who do you usually, you don't chill with uh, like Alex? Alex Wasabi? No, nah, they moved. Um, they moved oh, wow. to a further area from me. And it's like yeah. a it's like a mission to get to their house. Yeah. So I don't see them as often as yeah. I used to. No. That's crazy. By the way, guys, we had Alex Wasabi in our last episode. And it's pretty crazy because he's, he's going to box Gib. But this dude has no camp. Like he's bugging out. And he weighs like 155. This dude is, you need to kind of motivate him. Yo, 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 <laughs> Pussy, uh, You need to motivate him. I don't know. You, you see a lot of the shit talking between me and Alex. Mm -hmm. And you fought me. You mm -hmm. fought Alex. Mm -hmm. If me and Alex had a, have a fight, like, oh, yeah, who'd you? Yeah. You fought both of us. Shit, man. And here, be here, honest, be honest. Here's but, all I'm going to say to that. What? All I'm going to say to that is whenever I talk to Alex about it and uh, your name gets brought up, I always tell him, don't underestimate him. That's all I say. Yeah, I remember you saying that. <laughs> I say, don't, under, and I tell him, like, I, tell, I look him in his eyes, and I go, don't underestimate him. Um, I like that. Other I like than that, that, I think it'll be a really good fight. I think it's a fight that needs to happen. That's a fact but my think. fear, uh, like, along with all these um, boxing things, I feel like there's going to be so many things in the way of what he wants, what you want, yada, yada, yada. I don't see it happening. You don't see it happening? I don't see it happening. Nah. Because I, I he think wants happen, a different yeah. thing than you want. You want a different thing than he wants. And I just see too many things in the way. Well, if if the zone, you know, Chas, he's Chas speaking with, with the zone. So if the zone is... Uh, if y'all can get that back from the zone, then it would Oh, the zone already tweeted about them. Before. Yeah, yeah, I they see tweeted about them. And um, but even, you, just, you just never know. Like the... Yeah, yeah. With the zone, the only see the fight that I see them. Unless your chances, the way it's I see it... On the undercard it, of Case on Is Jake. the only way and... Um, what's his name? KSI no, 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 the guy. Uh, Eddie uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah Eddie Hearn. He said, unless he makes a card that's specific for, for YouTubers, YouTubers yeah. he doesn't know whether he sees this continuing or not because of the backlash he gets of putting these people on the cards, oh. regardless of the success that it does. So the the main thing I see on DAZN's list right now is obviously KSI versus Jake Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And depending on whether are they going to undercard it with, you know, YouTuber fights or stuff like that, that's when I see it happening. I yeah. think the, the last fight, Jake and Gibb, it did really good again. So yeah. they're planning on, from what I've been hearing, they're planning on doing a, a bunch more YouTubers, like a bunch. Of, hopefully that happens. Th that'll see. be really, really you dope. You never, you never give your prediction though. Yeah, nah, you, you I be a just good said fight. it's gonna yeah. be a good fight. That's yeah. all you're gonna say. That's so you don't, all I'm we, gonna yeah, say. You gotta say yeah. someone's gonna win. Nah, I wanna, <laughs> come on now. That's that's foolish <laughs> of me. That. That's foolish of me. <laughs> nah, that'll hey, be a. I'm just, don't I'm, I'm, my, yeah. That's foolish of me. <laughs> I know in your heart of hearts you know I'll win, right? Nah, that's foolish of me to say. I can't say that. I can't give you that. Uh, you know what? I respect it. I respect the friendship between you and Alex. So, don't, Alex, he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. That's why. Uh, by the way, um, uh, guys, if you guys want to text me, uh, my number is 91750. Uh, hello, what? 917. You don't know your own 809, number? 809-5706. <laughs> you guys can text me. I took a picture with me, Slim, and Fusi, and I, I texted you guys saying to ask me some questions. Yo, a lot of people are asking uh, so many questions. Oh, and man. one of the main questions is, when are you going to get married? <laughs> Damn, marriage. Um, when are you going to get married? Everyone keeps like, yeah. I, that's like, insane that they're asking that. That's very yeah. random. Um, yeah. I would love to get married. I yeah. would love, love, love right now to settle down, get married, and have children. Wow. Yeah. But in LA, to say that, it kind of it doesn't even go hand in hand. Yeah. Like You can't yeah. say, I want to get married while being in LA, especially living the lifestyle that I live, which yeah. is very mundane and quiet. Yeah. It's very hard to find someone right it's now. It's all a hit, hit, hit and quit. It's was, everything uh, out here, huh? I don't know what it is. But <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not favoring me at all. But I would yeah. love to get married. Yeah, I would. Like, in, in LA, it's going to be hard to I find. I feel like my life is going to change drastically and dramatically when I get married. I think the same when thing. When I find my person. I feel like in career and everything, I feel like that's and the next like chapter bad, of my in life. In a bad way or a good in way? In a good way. In a good in an way, an amazing okay. way. That's why I feel like all this waiting now and I'm wondering like what movie do I want to get in? What shows do I want to do? What I yeah. really should be asking myself is when am I going to get married? So someone said, well, would you marry a fan? Yeah, 100%. It doesn't matter. Bro. A fan is a person too, bro. Yeah, but I'm just saying, some people, they might just yeah, be nah, like, I would, I would, I would. <laughs> Unless you're talking about, the, like, you know, the actual fan. I would. Fan. If, like, <laughs> yeah. if, like, she approached and she was, like, you know, in my likeness and, you know, I felt fit for me, there's yeah. no doubt. 
Yeah, yeah. they're saying, "Oh my God, did you? This is crazy. Like, what? what do you like? What kind of girl do you like? What kind of girl are you looking for? Like, what's your t- Arabic? Asking Arabic all girls? Yeah, this is the Bachelor Fuzi Tube Edition. Ask Fuzi if he's ever Fousey getting a girlfriend, and if yes, <laughs> will she be Arabic? Damn. Will she be Arab? Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think, guys. If like, it I don't. I don't, matter. Br- I don't yeah. break it down like that. I have yeah. no idea. I have yeah. no type. I have no preference. He ain't got like, no type. Know, I'm just bad bitches is the only thing yeah, that he like. like I'm just not. I'm just open. I'm very open to it. So I have no type. Ooh. No type. Yes. You heard him. Yeah. Hit him on Instagram. Shoot your shot. <laughs> yeah, so no please type. don't start with that shit. Just because you're married and you have your wife I, I, now. I, I like being bro, wingman. like, he's... I, I, I wing Adam all the time. The like, worst, the worst wingman. Wing nah, come on, bro. The come worst, on, Adam. The worst wingman I got ever. Adam so many dates. It's just that no girl could keep Adam's attention for longer than two days. No, it's not no that. No girl could keep the Adam's girls, attention. The girls, he gives me, like, some next, like... It's like a prank. Like, he showed me James Charles' picture. He, like, he'll gas Damn. me up, you know? Um, someone <laughs> said, would you ever rematch Slim in a boxing fight? Yo, you know what's crazy? Wait, uh-huh. I, s- I was watching, you know, I was watching my, one of my favorite channels on YouTube, Ten Goose Boxing Gym, right? Uh-huh. And I saw a video where, uh, where Ricky was talking about, like, the fight, you know, the aftermath. And he mentioned, in, in the end, you mentioned that you wanted to do a rematch. I, was like, I said that for his video. A word? Because, um, you know how it is on YouTube. I wanted to help his channel out and oh, I knew yeah. it would get people talking. But if I hadn't broken my nose... 100 yeah. percent i would have been like for, like you know me when i when there's something on my mind i don't ever ever give it up so yeah. even in defeat if i hadn't broken my nose yeah. i would have been the first person i would have forced you i would have been like yeah. i would have done everything in my power to get a rematch yeah. but after undergoing two nose surgeries and putting a lot of money in my nose yeah, and not not focus on my acting career it's not worth it and, and plus plus you know we all did it for charity yeah you know all did it for charity it was like it's not like we did it and made yeah, money. Yeah, 100%. You know? And the only yeah. reason I would want to do it too is not because I want to prove people wrong or show people wrong. I wanted to show myself that I can learn from my mistakes, handle that moment better. Because what a lot of people don't understand is they can talk behind their keyboards all they want until you're walking out of an arena, like backstage, thousands of people cursing at you, cameras on, 100,000 yeah. plus people watching you on YouTube. Yeah. You cannot experience that kind of atmosphere ever unless you do it. Yeah, bro. It's, cra- it's crazy. It's, cra- it's, like, it's like a Rocky movie, bro. Like It's like a movie. Yeah. It's the feeling. I remember because when I was backstage too, I had the same feeling. Yeah. And I saw you backstage and we were just talking shit to yeah. each other. I, I remember- blacked out. I blacked out. And my dad even told me, like, even after the fight, he was like, yeah, you backstage scared me. You weren't have the right energy. I didn't understand the importance of being backstage and being as calm as you possibly can be and as quiet as you possibly can be and like happy and like relaxed so i went in there with anger and frustration yeah. i was and getting your head a lot that's yeah, what it was. yeah yeah and <laughs> that's that's where my downfall was i wasn't able to handle that big moment when it came about yeah. and that's why it was just a complete blackout where everything i had learned in the two months went out the window and i don't even know what the shit happened yeah. till this day i think i think uh, till this day Till this day, it's I, it's like, it was iconic like, because like me and you were talking so much shit on the internet. I remember there was, you were posting videos every day saying he was gonna knock me. We out put the on first a time. show though. Yeah, we, we put, put on, on a show. That, show. That's yeah. what was most and important. You, you like, took it well too. Like you took it. You took, yeah. you took everything yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, it was it was for charity. I'm writing about it in my book. Wow. Like, yo, I'm, yeah. I've always been telling you to no write way. a book. I'm writing about it in my book. I'm working on a book right now. Um, that's amazing. And there's two major things I'm talking about. One yeah. being July 15th. And then right after that, talking about my boxing defeat. Yeah. And right now I'm looking at, I don't know if this is the title, but it's around the, it's around where I want it to be of this is not a motivational story because oh, yeah. it's going to talk about all the defeats and the L's and the losses and everything Damn. and how I came through to the other side, yeah. going through so much adversity and so much defeat. So well, I have a book. So t- t- talking, about, talking about July 15th, um, I was like, I, I witnessed everything from like the start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I witnessed <laughs> everything from like the start. Even uh, James, James and Mooney's here, Divi, we're all there in Australia together. Yeah. And I had no clue like, like something like that can actually happen. Like someone can like have a breakdown. I never, I never knew, you know, I, yeah. I never knew that can actually it's happen. It's so funny. Um, I can't say it on this podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was with a very big YouTuber yesterday. Yeah. And then he had actually told me, he was like, bruh. It happened to me. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, recently I hadn't slept for three days and I had been getting, I was talking and making statements that were way, 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 way too big. Yeah. And everybody in the house told me I had to go home and spend time with my family because I was like losing myself a little. It's called being manic. 
when yeah. you go through yeah, a manic yeah. episode. That's what happens. Yeah, but, but it's crazy because I didn't notice this. I don't know when you were telling when you when you were telling me like all this stuff. I was like, like wow, that's my you know, big bro. Like yeah. that's dope. I'm gonna I'm gonna really break it down in the book because yeah. there's a part of me that still is very conflicted because about what about the what I want to classify it as it being yeah. a manic episode or it being a man really driven out for ins with inspiration and a purpose yeah. and wanting to achieve something because what I was doing in such a short amount of time is not easy it's not an easy feat and had I not like you know by the grace of I don't know what you want to call it had a bomb threat called in on my event yeah who yeah. knows what would have actually happened no one will ever know that yeah that's true but um everything just exploded with a bomb threat like if that's you crazy. really break down what happened everything was going great yeah everything was going yeah, great and I, I didn't like how i didn't like how people were like you know obviously yeah you know, so he's made he made a whole documentary before kind of anything like, happened yeah, yeah and even all the other people like even like they were just making like fusi khan yeah let's not forget yeah you guys want hot topics for your podcast oh definitely right? yeah we said let's not forget you yeah. were one of those people as well whoa, 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 oh what? but that was way after that was not way wait, after. Wait, wait, that wait, was, wait, wait, about? Uh, during July 15th? He was 15? talking about how people were making, like, videos on everything. No, no, but, but I'm talking about during July 15th. During, during, yeah. Like, during that moment. But I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah. afterwards, you were oh. also part of that. Oh, afterwards? Oh, yeah, but we had, uh, <laughs> it was, like, um, two we months can't, after. We can't, yeah, but we can't two forget that. Wait, we wait, can't wait, forget wait, wait, wait. that. Let's, let's talk about that. So, after the July, after his whole July 15th, I didn't know. Th this is from my perspective. I never really spoke about any of this, but... Uh -huh. The whole time I was with you in Australia, you know, we're going on tour. I didn't know you were going through a manic episode. Uh -huh. I never met anyone who went, who goes through something like that. Uh -huh. So, so in my head, I'm like, everything's cool, everything is normal. You you were telling me. Do you remember all the moments that happened? Everything. You remember wow. everything. Everything. Do you remember when? Um, do you remember when you came to us when he came to my Airbnb and then you were like in your towel and you you told everyone to yeah you sit told down everyone, and I told to the sit story, down yeah in LA yeah, and every story because. Yeah. I was genuinely like I, I was. I, I, that's when I started becoming like. What's going on? Kind of worried and yeah. stuff like that. And then, at the time, you had some friends that they weren't. They, I'm gonna tell you right now, they weren't. They weren't your friends for real because they would come to me and Slim, kind of talking shit. You know, kind of talking shit. And I was like, I was like, you know, like what the fuck? Like you know, yeah, I look like your best friends. You know, yeah. and all of like that. But when um when they come to us, they're talking a bunch of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it was which, just every which I had no idea. Of. Oh, you had no idea. Wow, you had no, no clue, which is fucked I up, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But um, uh, I had I had no clue you were going you were going through what you're going through. And there was a time where I was just waiting for like uh I was waiting for like six hours. I was waiting for like six hours. Oh, like, I remember that. I, that was that, and, and that then was sick I got mad life. because got you didn't you didn't you didn't want to speak to me on the phone. You made um your girl at the time speak to me on yeah. the phone. You didn't want to speak with anybody. My, my I, I I get I, I get what happened during that time. But yeah. my my question to you. Yeah. Now we can talk about it here. Oh, and definitely, I think it would yeah. be great material. Yeah. Um, what got you to go online and post those videos on YouTube? So it took it took me a lot to to upload those videos. I never at the time, the whole July fifteen, the whole time we stopped talking, I never uploaded anything until until I believe we had a UK tour. We had a UK tour, and then I put in a lot of my, a lot of my own money because at the time yeah. I owned this. Um, I owned this uh, company and everything. I had my ex manager, who, who was at the time he would, kind of manipulate me and and he manipulates whoever he's around. Like, let me ask you this: Yeah, was he putting stuff into your head about stuff I was saying or stuff oh, I was yes. going to do? Oh yes, all the time, all the time. I like, had figured he was that. A, kind of afraid of you. Like he was afraid that like he's always insecure, not just with you, even with other people. He doesn't want me to like get close with people. Sometimes he wouldn't want me to give my number out to people he's like let me talk to them mm. you know yeah, let me say this it's kind of like have you heard do you know the, the mean the meaning of a megalomaniac what i don't that it means like power hungry they really okay. they just really want to have that power you know what i'm saying they they love having that power uh -huh. the feeling of power the feeling of and i'm not gonna lie i, I would kind of get sucked into it like you know like he would manipulate me oh wow it's fucked up man this and that blah 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 and then i would even say like maybe he's kind of like going through you know He's going through something. I even mm. spoke to his mom. I was—I remember I, I spoke yeah. to your mom, but still, like, it, it's still I'm, I blame myself too because I was kind of like, I was—I was kind of like, it, it's, it's kind of crazy to say, but I was kind of like a victim of being in a friendship where someone is like telling you, like, no, you should do, don't yeah. hang out with that guy. Even when I'm in the UK, I, I wanted to film a lot of videos with like these other YouTubers, like Hamza Production, yeah. this and that. So don't don't do a video with them. You can yeah. look stupid. 
You're yeah. gonna look stupid. He, you, you're Adam Salt Lake. You're gonna look stupid. Here, here's yeah. what here's what happened like, on my end. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget it. I'll yeah. never forget. It. I'm gonna talk about this in my book yeah. right away. So you're gonna wow. be in my book. I oh hope shit! I, I feel like to do that. Am I allowed? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's that's. So true. I remember at the time, and I can just say whatever. You can right? say whatever the fuck. You can say names. You can say anything. Yeah. At the time, yeah. you were going to leave your manager. Yes, I was there talking was so about. Many, there were so many times. Where he there there were so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so many. So many. But times. here's the thing. So yeah. you were going to leave. I, your I was having big issues. A lot of issues with so him. So in my understanding during that time, yeah. Adam is leaving him. I knew that after this tour is done, Adam is leaving him. That's what I had. That's what I had thought. And I remember the biggest mistake that I made was not going on tour with you. The biggest mistake, regardless of everything, yeah. the biggest mistake, and that's something I always apologize to you for. Yeah, I no, no, you, did, you already tour. did. You didn't. Have that was to, a very childish. You already did. Yeah. I was in that moment of everything going on. I had my career on the line on whether or not I was going to present J Cole at this yeah, table. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a lot yeah. of shit going on. So yeah. I understand that was wrong right there. So I remember I went into a meeting with my financial managers. And they were telling me like I had lost I lost over five hundred thousand dollars July fifteenth like five hundred grand five hundred grand I no. remember I remember I seen you hey yo spend a, I seen him spend one time two hundred grand on and I'm like what are you doing everything I was like what are you everything yeah. in the event was invested from me there was no investors there was no outside God, money it was all mine the bag. second the second the bomb threat was called and I think the person who was helping me set up the event had some shady shit going on too and took a lot of the money yada yada yeah. but I lost over 500 grand the second that shit happened hey, so when I was meeting with my financial managers obviously stressing out yada yada they were like here's the money you invested into this tour and here's the money that I think that you should get back Right. Yeah. Because of um, the tour being done, you invested that money. You didn't go on the tour. The tour is still a success. Yeah. So what did I do? I remember I was with the two people you had told me right now that you said yeah. were talking behind your back who yeah. I had not known. I was with them. Yeah. And I was like, what should I do? They're like, call up Nas. Let him know. So I remember I called them up and I remember um, it got hostile very quick. It got hostile very, very quick. I was like, yo, I need to talk to you. I need this yeah. money back. Da, 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 da. Calls me back. And then goes, um, we start talking about it. And then I lied to him, my yeah. mistake again. And I said, I'm with my lawyer. By the way, when I'm talking to him, yeah. I think I'm talking to a guy Adam's about to leave. Yeah. Adam has no affiliation with him. Adam doesn't care. My, my problems are with him. Yeah. So I remember telling him, yo, I can expose all this shit that I know. I'm not going to yeah. say what I was going to expose. Yeah. But I'd be like, I'm about to expose all this shit. Yeah. I have my lawyers here. I need to get um uh to get my money back that I invested into this tour. Yeah. And I remember hanging up and that was it. And then I remember That's that's a big mistake because right there you just gave you just gave him like everything kinda, kind of like the and, ammo. And, yeah. and I had I didn't know that he was running to you and telling yeah. you all these things. Yeah. And I already knew there was a miscommunication. So there was one time I'm about to get a tattoo. And one of my boys is there and I'm trying to get in contact with Adam. I've been trying to get in contact with Adam for weeks and I wasn't able. I think it was like two weeks since that conversation happened. Yeah. I'm not able to get in contact with him. But then he calls Adam and he answers. And I'm like, something's going on here. Why is yeah. he answering my friend but not me? Me still not knowing anything is going on. Next thing I know, I get a text from Adam and it's like, yo, you're this, you're that, yeah, you did yeah. this, you did that. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Um, Yo, I don't know about these texts, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm listen, listen. I'm so, yeah, like, I'm so into he it goes, right He goes, you did this, you yeah. did that, you're this, I should have listened, you did this, you're going to sue me. Um, he was like, oh, you have no idea what gets coming to you. And in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? Sue yeah. Adam? Because oh, yeah, here's what I, I did. I got a phone call. At that. the time, I, I got a crazy. Yeah. Here's what I did. I emailed the main Winfinity email thinking I'm talking to who? Nas. Yeah. Who was I in, unintentionally sending the email to? Adam and team. So that email that went to Nas is actually getting interpreted by everybody. And I'm texting Adam. And I remember sending him a video. I'm like, yo, you're misunderstood right now. I know you're getting shit fed in your ear. This yeah. has nothing to do with you. Yeah. I need to talk to you. And, and, and I remember it was like a week after that or not even. Boom. The video started yeah. being uploaded. And, and I, let me just say, I yeah. will talk about what happened to me after that in my book. Did you watch so those videos? Fuck. Did you watch those videos? No, I did never, not. Never let, me, let, let me say. How'd you know? Like, how'd you know about the news being broken when you made the video? Bro, it was the biggest thing on the internet. I'm let like, me, I'm off of social yeah, media. Yeah. I'm off of the world and all these things are going off. And I will talk about what it did to me in my book because it's yeah. a very, very, very intensive wow. read. Wow. 
Very wow. I can't wait to read it. But but I knew me, yeah. it was all 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 bullshit miscommunication. I, I wish I wish I, I would listen to you since the first day in Australia when we got to Australia and you were like, yo, like you kind of let me know. You're like, this is that's that's your manager. Why he doesn't really like at the time I should have listened to you because there was so many issues that I've had before with him. 2017, you know, filming my filming my music video because I, I just felt like he was. He was trying to be the artist, you know. Even when we made the videos, guess whose plan was that? Whose plan was that? Not mine. Guess who was in that video for like 15 minutes? While who I was FaceTiming, who was mm -hmm. explaining 15 minutes? Not me. And I was like, fuck. Like, I, it was hard for me to do that. It was Imagine, I, I never make videos like that, you know what I'm saying? But I was being told like, what, you know... Give him this, give him that. He said this, he said that. No, and, and I like, knew 100%. I knew I, know, I watched it. was a miscommunication. It, and I had yeah. to watch it from that end. And I want to say, like, I never replied yeah. at all. Even when I was yeah. in Bali and I and was I, like. I apologize, I apologize for all the videos. Yeah, I removed them. Yeah, I deleted them. we're past them. that. We're past that. But I, I thought it would be cool to but, talk about here. Yeah, but that's crazy, man. But I like, knew watching yeah. it. I knew what was happening and I knew what was being put into your ears. Like, yeah, fuck, oh, he's man. planning to sue this and this. Yeah. And. I want to say this, like, I know this wasn't your move, yeah. but the dirtiest move ever. No, I, I don't even know if I should bring this up. No, say it, say it. So, so, say it. Bro, keeping it real is yeah, unfiltered. Keep it real, 100%. Raw. I'm at the airport on my way to Bali. I think I had stopped in, like, I forgot which Asian country I was in. Yeah. And then I get an email from your team, which I knew was coerced by him and my whoever else. Yeah. Your ex-team, yeah. my apologies. Yeah. And it says, um, hello, here is a here is a breakdown of how much Yusuf owes us. I think it was like seventy five thousand dollars, and it was like if this is not paid upon by this day, and this that is that has I got me. that email <laughs> yeah. the second the video started being uploaded. So imagine wow. I'm getting hit by the videos, and now I get an email that says if you do not pay this money within yeah. this days, expect our lawyers to hear you. I'm going through like I'm shaking. I'm going through shock. I'm calling. I'm like I'm about to get sued for fucking what? I have no yeah. money left. I just lost all yeah. my money. How the hell am I yeah. gonna get sued when all I was asking was for like fifteen hundred dollars back? I was like, and it yeah. was just the craziest experience. That was it. Yeah, my life. that was it. I'm. Uh, you're right. It's a whole miscommunication. And I, as I said, I apologize. I, I apologize for all my actions. In the past, I, I, both, I own up yeah, to yeah, it. I own up to got it. Past I'm it sorry. So I'm sorry it's because so much because crazy. it was. Not just you. I'm telling you, so many people that that like that got fucked over f from this person. And, and you you know when you're in a situation where like, fuck, you can't really leave because you you're gonna seem fake if you leave or something. You know what I'm saying? It, you know you're real. You gotta be. St you gotta stay. He's doing this. He's doing that. And it's like fuck. But at the same time, it's my fault for agreeing. You know, it's my fault for saying, okay, yes, you're right. Like, okay, maybe you're right. You're right. Like I was just getting fed. I was getting fed these all the stuff fed. And there was at the time a lot of issues with me and him. And I was. I was planning on leaving him since 2017, 2018. And then I finally, I and finally that's left. that's where the issue happened because the whole yeah. reason I even tried anything was because I had got the knowledge that you were leaving. Yeah. Had yeah. I known you were still with him, I wouldn't have even fucked with that. It would have never yeah. even, even been like a forethought to be like, yo, yeah. I want this money back or anything. But because I yeah. thought you were leaving, I thought I was dealing with this guy directly, not knowing wow. that. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. that story. This is crazy, you know, because like... I. I know, like, about everything from, like, the outside, like, point of view. Like, so now, like, hearing you guys talk about it, it's, yeah. like, it's, like, so much information. But, like, yeah. I'm just listening. Like, I can't wait to crazy. write about it, though. Like, yeah, I, I can't wait, I can't to, wait to talk to, about I've it. I've always been telling you. I'm like, yo, Yusuf, I'm like, do you remember everything that happened? You're like, everything, Adam. I'm, and I remember you telling me every moment. I was I was there. I went to the back. You, you explain yeah. about like, detail. And I'm like. it's traumatic. You don't forget it. Yeah. Like, you got to write a book. You were talking about in the robe. Yeah. Like, I remember. Right. Oh, you came. Literally, you were butt, like butt naked. You just had a towel on. No, you. let me say this. Let me say this because uh, this is actually a chapter. I was sleeping that day, right? This is actually a chapter in the book. Yeah, yeah. I come home from the club after the running running into Drake incident. Yeah. Simi comes to greet me at the Uber door. I literally look at her and I have my hands up and I go, "Don't touch me right now." Yeah. I felt like there was something inside me. What I said, don't touch me right now. I was like, you yeah. okay? You were like, don't. I'm like, yo. I, I said, don't touch me right now. Oh. Gather everybody, tell them to sit down, and I will be down when I'm ready. I go upstairs into the bathroom. I remember sitting on my legs, literally yeah. had the water shower on, 
my eyes were rolled back and water was hitting me and I felt like something was exiting my body. What? Wallah. I felt like something was, I felt like something was exiting my body. I yeah. think uh, I a hundred percent, like I'm not saying this just like to that say be, like, something was inside me. Oh my God. I, was, I wasn't yo, even controlling myself. Yo, I remember Yusuf, getting, I was, I was thinking of that. I was like, there must yeah. be something because I got the this towel. is not you. Yeah. This was not you. I remember I went, you telling me that. Adam was telling me that. He I was like, this is not him. Crazy stories. But at the same, I was like, this is not him at all. And then like, I wish, like, I wish at the time, like, someone would have said, like, like, oh, like, a ma it's, it's a manic, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of people saying that, but it never came out from your mouth. Yeah, and it you know was never saying? done properly or right, and I, I wouldn't have listened at that time anyways, because I was so hell-bent on what I yeah. wanted to achieve. People, people need to, like, yeah, you need to, you need to write a book and explain everything, 100%. because this shit was a movie, man. This shit, I remember being in the Uber with you in Australia, and you were playing them the, the, the song to the, to the yeah. Uber driver, and, like, and then... We went to the another time. There was so many moments. There was so many moments. There was so many moments where we're in the haunted house, our haunted house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a um, lot, man. There's, yeah, there's I, I, don't LA. Know, I don't know too much about what you, what you guys did in Australia, but all I know is because I came from LA, uh, from New York straight to LA, and that whole week. All I know is at the end of the day, Four Ghosts is the greatest song. Yo, that song of is popping. Century. That song is. It might have got released at a bad time. It might have got released with bad press. It might have had the wrong rollout. But had that song been a stand, like let's say July fifteenth never happened, and all I did oh with no hype, no nothing, release that song, it would have been a banger. Oh, it was, bro. The verses, the song, the way that it was. Song had Bella had Hadid, DM me back. Days. With an XO. That Bella Hadid, a classic. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's a classic. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Some of my, yeah, the lines are so memorable. It's a I'm classic. Tyler Perry put me in his movies. Oh, well, well, it was, it was the shout whole. Shout out to Divi from Australia yeah, for actually here the yeah. creation of that song. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to put James, in the work. <laughs> James, who brought like these. They, he calculated. He got these producers together to. Do this. I'm gonna track. talk about it in my book. I'll explain. Yeah, it. that was because th that's where that. birth from. That's where it came. Yeah. Yo, that's so crazy. Yeah. So yeah. like, but but at the end of the day, man, like, Alhamdulillah, thank God, like, you know. We became we became back to like back to boys and I learned a lot for I the seventh a lot. time. For if it seventh... ever happens again, screw Adam no, Saleh. Yo, go do whatever again. you want to do in life. <laughs> I'm yeah. done with you. I'm no. done presenting myself no. to you. I'm done trying no, no, to be no, no, your no. friend. This everything happens for a reason. This, bro, I called you. Do you remember yeah. the time when I, yeah, call, when yeah, I called you? Yeah, you thought I was joking. You were playing Call of Duty. You're like, what yeah, the I remember fuck that. You I remember talking that. about? And then I'm, uh, yeah, everything happens for a reason. We came back to like, you know, for the culture. You know, at the end of the day, you know. We had the same vision. We had the same, you know, similarities. We're we're both Arab, you know. He's Arab, you know. Divi, James, all of us for the culture, you know. Yeah. We really want to have like a whole team out there, you know. Just like how, shit, Rock move to LA. Let's get a house. Hey, man, yo, man. I wish we want a house. We want to talk about it with James, man. We've been talking about a lot, a lot in to doing like a big uh, something big, you know, f something big for the, like the Arab community. Come to LA. Let's get a house. Let's do it. We're thinking of a spot. That's the move. That's LA, what everybody's doing. Or if you like, don't want it in LA, tell me where you want it. Let's get a house. Let's do it. Let's we'll build. Definitely, we'll think of something. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely get something crazy because th there's there's nothing out there that has, has reached, that has, you know, we need to take it to another yeah. level, I feel like, you know? That's a fact, Tito. Wow, imagine that. Imagine, like, all of us in the same house together. Yeah. That would be crazy, with just, yo. With just, you know, just us, you know, no no one in, a, in the it middle feeding us, you it know, feeding us happen, anything, yeah. you know. But that's, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I like that. Like after all that, all that history, especially no me question. and you. Even, even though we fought, we could still be boys and cool. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. we're cool. Like we just, we just crushed everything. Crushed I the never had a problem with you leading up to the fight. It was all because of the fight. I mean, <laughs> I, I, when I when we had agreed to the fight, I remember talking to you and being like, "Yo, so we're gonna do this," and you're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Da -da -da. And you want to know what's so funny? What? Something I, I I've always remembered. The first call I had with Slim, and this is before the fight was announced, before the, everything. Slim goes on the phone. He goes, break my nose. He goes, I want you to break my nose. <laughs> he says that on the phone. Bro, when anyone says that, you should you should have known. Like, this dude is crazy. Like, yeah. And yeah. then I, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll do that. And then <laughs> I get the nose broken. Oh, my God. Yo, yo. I remember that. Yo, wow. <laughs> we were talking crazy. I, was, yo, I wanted to put on a hell of a show. That's what I wanted to do, man. But and yo, we did. And we did. Hell yeah. yeah. We, we definitely it's, did. It's been, like, with you, it's an inspirational, like, story that you've, what you've been through from, from the start. And... It's it's been one like like a roller coaster. I feel yeah, like like 100%. a roller coaster every single year. But you have the, the great thing about you is that you have a lot of people that that look up to you that get motivated. So at the end of the day, you know that's that's the people that look up to you and they they inspired by you. Those those are the ones that 
You got you got to care the about people fuck, still fuck look these, up to me. Yeah. Look at it as like me showing my real life and showing the down flaws and the ups and downs yeah. and like they're not following somebody with a perfect life. They're not yeah. following somebody who like has all his shit together. Like yeah. they, they don't. Like I don't have my shit together and they're 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 aware of that and they're supportive of that and they're watching because even through midst of everything that I've done, I've accomplished yeah. some insane things in yeah. my career. W- was that the craziest thing that ever happened like July 15? Yeah. 100%. Wow. Well, you know what's wow. good? You know, yo, James. That, that, yo, James. Come. come. Can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we have James for like five minutes here? Is that cool? Yo, James. Sit down, bro. Come. Bro, come through. Please do, bro. Just, just I don't know. Just like you were. you were That week was like, memorable, though, He was man. there. You know? He was there. It we was, was such a memorable last week. week. You guys haven't thing? met since then. No, it's been ages. Damn. You haven't met since It then. doesn't feel like that, though. Yo, like whenever up, I see. That's crazy. Yeah. What's, what's, going through, what's going through your mind at the time? Like <laughs> What's through my mind? Like, at the time when, when whatever he was going through, like, during July. Oh. At the start, July it was 15. just fun because we were all hanging out together, and then it became like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This shit's real. Fuck, yeah, it's fucked. It was fucked up. Yeah. It was very fucked up. Did you know, did you have any clue from, the, like? At, no, in Australia, no. We are just having fun in Australia. Yeah. Like, every, everything went from, like, normal to fucked up. Yeah, because yeah. you are watching everything from Australia. Like, imagine you seeing all this shit go down on YouTube and you're in Australia. Yeah, I was like, really excited for, for you. For yeah, so when, like, when I was happy him, as, and then yeah. it became a point where it was like, it doesn't, doesn't matter where you go. Everyone was like, fuck, your friend's like a bit of a, like, retard, you know? Like, everyone would, like, insult you and shit. It was very bad. Like, yeah, it got really bad. It was like really having to bad. stick up for a mate and getting That's cut. It was the it. biggest thing on the But then at the, the same internet. time, not knowing, like, you know, at the same time being like, fuck, like, the whole Adam situation, you and Adam was like, seeing your friends fight and then Feeling like fucking someone shit goes someone and then yeah. you're not being handled. It was just yeah. like ugly. Like it was a very ugly time. When we left Australia and we went to LA, what were you think when you when you you were envisioning we were seeing the stuff going on in LA? What was like I was just feeling bad. Feeling? Like I was feeling bad because there's nothing yeah. you could do about it. Yeah. That was crazy. You were supposed to come with us. Do you remember? Yeah. He was supposed to come. Yeah. Damn. I was just feeling bad, bro. Like, I was yeah. feeling bad. Like I was like fuck. I remember he was You know what it you, is? You, you don't even know Fusi. We were speaking about it. We're like, is he like okay? Cause there was one time. You were laying down. You were just laying down with your eyes closed, like, like, just like that. And I was worried. I was like, Yusuf, you okay? And then, do you do you remember that moment? No. You don't remember that? It depends when. I was. I did a lot of weird shit, so I have to know, like, you when. You were laying what? down. You were laying down and just, like, you were, like, maybe meditating or, like. Probably. Yeah. I was doing a whole bunch of shit. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we were speaking with each other at the time. We were, like, confused. But, and even with Slim sometimes, so he's like, no. Slim was like, nah, he's, um. He's a genius. No, he's nah, saying what? You know, I was saying because, like that. Thank nah. you, Slim. No, because... <laughs> I was saying, so like, like doing things, you were saying some... Like, you know how... You- Every like twenty minutes, you would give like these speeches, and it was in. It yeah, was they're in, crazy. Some of the shit was like, yeah, and it wasn't coming from me. Something else was giving me this insight, this feelings. Like I wish all that stuff that was documented, I I could still get the footage from. I don't know where it is, but that shit you is. You have videos on your phone. I don't know. No, 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 not all that stuff. Those no, those not the raw moments. You yeah. need to talk about that in your book. Like yeah, it's, yeah it's, the raw moments were crazy. Yeah. And I really believed all those stuff that I said I was gonna accomplish. Remember walking yeah. down Melrose? Yeah, bro, yeah, that's the thing. You like, took off your uh, shoes. You gave it to somebody. I think I, I did yeah. some a lot of shit, man. Well, you don't believe that shit anymore. Um, that no, and that's what I'm gonna write about in my book because I'm don't still believe anything. No, 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 no. That's what I'm gonna write about in my book. I'm torn apart because there's a part of me that doesn't look at it as just like a manic episode and a guy who went crazy. Because I believe a lot of the stuff I was yeah. saying, and I believe in myself. Like I said, had a bomb threat not happened, who knows what story we would be talking about right now. Wow. That's yeah, it was the excitement and the jumping up and down and the doing the crazy shit. That's that's the manic part. Yeah. But like the stuff that... And yeah. Just being in LA, yeah. no like real people wow, around you, no family. Yeah, it's like what if Drake fuck. really did pull up, bro? Bro. <laughs> that would have shut down. I have a, if, another question. I have a question. If, if yeah. Adam answered your call when you sent that email, you know, he said, oh, when, when Nas sent the email... Yeah. Et cetera. Because remember, we were sitting in Sydney on the couch and Adam was saying, fuck Nas. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Remember? Yeah. So that was following when you when you said that, it clicked. And I was like, damn, you're talking to Nas. Like, you're talking to a company, not to Adam, when yeah. you're applying. So there's nothing wrong with that. But if Adam had answered your call and was like, you know what, fuck it, would you have still gone on that tour or not? If he said what? If Adam was like, all right, fuck it. You know how they sent the U-O-X-X-X-X? Uh-huh. If, if when you called Adam to try to explain it to him, if he answered... And then you guys were on the same page. It was like, well, no, that was the, the timelines are different no? because me and Adam had already the the e- the email and stuff came after after, the after. Episodes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So after the episodes, when that email, yeah, the two, we, me and Adam had already decided I wasn't going on the tour because I thought I needed to present J. Cole at the Staples Center. So the timelines right, are different. So now that you think back at that, do you feel like a shit cunt? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I should have yeah. been on that tour. Yeah. 
I should have been on that tour because me and Adam, who knows if we would have continued touring. So what and should like, you do about that? Huh? What should you do about that? <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, I think he definitely, he definitely, he um, definitely. Shit, Adam, you want to go on tour? Let's yeah, go. Let's go, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> a good date, like, July 15th. Book tour, book tour. <laughs> so, so far, everyone's plan to move into a house together and now. Yo, yeah, J- James is like, what people don't know is that James, he's kind of like a mastermind. And and he's, um uh, he always comes up with some crazy-ish which which I like I'm like oh wow like yo that yeah. that should happen like and 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 it's a lot of stuff that we've been planning in the future that we really want to do There's a lot of history A lot of history You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of history. Yeah. We really want to like like us us four being here right now is pretty crazy. You know, it's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. We have a lot of potential us four. Let's say we add on four girls, you know, for let's say four Arab girls or whatever let's like get a house. You know, g- get something. It'll be crazy. Yeah. Be crazy like something It'll a lot at of least potential. Be doing something that you'd want to do, you know what I mean? You'd, if you want to be around your mates and then whatever comes from it comes from but like you can build off that. There's a solid base. Yeah. Thing. Then having to like be in a rat race, do all that shit. So it's good. I think you guys are nearing yeah. the end right now. Any other burning questions or anything the fans are dying to know or are you guys? Yeah. Um Oh yeah, you, you said before one just one question. I'm hoping yeah. What is it? You said before that, like, everyone that follows you now, they follow you, they've been through the ups and downs, they know that they're not following someone perfect. Yeah. So why do you care when, like, you upload a video and there's hate and shit? If, like, That's a fact. If you know that it's filtered and filtered, like, you know what it is over and over again, who gives a shit? Like, why don't you just... No, 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 there's a difference when... So, if... And like, are you still, like, making content just for the sake of making content, or are you just doing whatever you want to do now? Because that's, like... I'm not doing what I want to do at this point because I don't know where creatively my head lies. I don't have that creative vision as when I was a kid. But like just recently, I uploaded a video called um, it was called YouTube Kicks. Brilliant idea in hindsight. I'm taking the medium of complex sneakers and I'm Mm. turning it into YouTube Kicks. But when I release a bad video and I'm reading comments that are hating on it. And I agree with those comments is the only time I'll delete that video. If it was a product that I believed in and I was like, Shh, y'all are crazy. This shit's good. It would stay up. But I knew yeah. uploading that this isn't my best work. Why'd you upload it? Just because. Like Just to see what happens. Things, what if yeah. I had done good and I, I would have got an easy win out of it? Why delete it? You should have left it up, I think, honestly. Nah, I, I didn't believe in it. I didn't believe it. Didn't, it, it wasn't true to me. Um and it had been done so many times. Really just complex and complex. um, it just it wasn't something like I'm not a diehead sneakerhead like that. Mm-hmm. I was just looking for the easy way to capitalize on that missed opportunity. So that's why I deleted it. But if yeah. it's something I be- like, if I if I put my head to something which I haven't in a long time, and I creatively create something and I like it, it doesn't matter what anybody says. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. I like the fact that you, you admit to it. You're like, yo, if you yeah. agree with it, you know. Like if, if yeah. right now, like let's say I've, I've gained weight. If somebody were to say, damn, you've gained weight, I don't get mad at that because I'm like. You've gained weight and lost weight so many times. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like, I, I, but if it's something like if I was ripped and somebody said you gained weight, I would be like, fuck off. But if they're telling me you gained weight and I did, I'll be like, okay, I see where you're coming from. Go pass some of that weight, bro. <laughs> Take it. Hello, so, so what's your what's your future your future plans as of now? You have your book coming. I have my book coming. When do you think it'll be released? It takes a long time. The yeah, process is going to take yeah. like a year. A year? Okay, that's yeah. cool. We'll, we'll be um, waiting for I that. I have my book coming. I want to do motivational talks um, across the country. That's something I've always wanted to do. I want to do I want to do talks um, as many times as I can because I love to speak. I want to be an actor. Um, I want to be in The Legend of Sinbad. I'm putting that out there again because I believe the law of attraction will help me manifest it. And, um, yeah, I hope to have my own production studio, like a Kevin Hart or Dwayne Johnson, who are very successful actors but have their own production studio. I want that, as well as being an author and a motivational speaker. Hey, I like That's where I want to be. That's dope. I wish you nothing but the best. Um, Where would you want anyone to follow you? So, uh, where, where do you usually post at the most? Like? Man, you can check out my Instagram, Instagram. which is at Fusi, my YouTube. Right now, my main one is at FusiTube. I've had so many channels. I'm starting a secret one, I think, on Monday, which yeah. is just at Fusi. Yeah. Um, that one hasn't come out yet. Um, a, a new YouTube channel? Wait, what are you going to do on that YouTube channel? I'm literally going to post, but here's why. Yeah. I'm not going to have a persona. I'm not going to have a... a, a You're sh- always up to something I'm not going to have a yeah. spiel. Well, what I'm are you going to be doing? I'm just going to be myself talking to the mm. camera. Day but day. why can't you do that on the Dose of Fuji channel? And because that one's dead. So day to That day. one's dead. Those people had been with me for years, ups and downs. I left algorithm, everything. I'd rather start a new channel. And at the end of each video, I'm going to say, please do not subscribe. 
unless you know what you're getting into and you want to be here. So I don't care how that channel does. I don't care who watches it. I don't care what. Yeah. I'm going to be my true, so you unauthentic. Other channels unauthentic. just go to waste like that. Well, yeah. Really? Yeah. Nothing goes yeah, on. But there's them. so many people Why? that, like, yeah, there's so yeah, there's much. There's so potential. much leverage. Why? Like, the algorithm, I understand, but the leverage. It's just I the build, the whole grind. Yeah, oh. but when you're posting on a 10 million subscriber channel and you're only getting 100, 200,000 views if I were to post videos like that, it looks shitty. But why don't you just do like the big drops on that? You know, like that's what I am. Stuff, I'm gonna yeah. continue. Like if anything comes about, I'm gonna do my big so jobs. On the other I'm channel, creating what are you this. Posting, I'm like? creating this channel for me. So the channel for you, like, what are you posting? Are you gonna stay living in LA? Like, if you're if you don't have mates around here, you don't like the energy. Why would you stay? Like, all these things come to mind. It'll all be discussed and talked about. And but it's just. Do you gonna... even know it? Like now, do you even know why? Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. For my acting right now, for yeah. my auditions and for stuff like that, I have to be in LA. Mm. So I, I got to make it work. And I've been doing a really good job recently of making it work, going to the gym, taking care of myself. Um, do you have any friends here? Like, do you have any like real mates? Do you have any like fam? Like, do you have a fam here? Like, what is it? What's the because everyone that comes here, you see, like they've got their they've got their clique or they've got their family. Or yeah, no, I don't here. have that. None of that. No. Wow, that's fucked. That's why I hated LA too. It was yeah, just sad, but it was just I don't have that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's crazy. That's man. the shit that fucks yeah. your head more than yeah. anything. I think. I think. Yeah, that's yeah, hundred percent. Well, we all here right now. We chilling. Um, what are we doing after this? Because we're about to wrap up this um uh, podcast. A huge shout out to Fusi Yusuf. Um, I wish you nothing but the best with your. Your book coming out with everything that you're doing. If you guys want to stay up to date with him, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. Thank you guys uh, so much for listening to another episode of Socially Profiled. A huge shout out also to James Yamuni who just popped in. Hey, 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 hey so, much, so much stuff was talked about in this episode. Yeah, Chas and so Divi. Um, yeah, crazy Slim. Episode. Like, I, I'm yeah. like, because like I, yeah. all this stuff that you and Fuji talked about just dropped on me. Like I feel like. I was just I was listening to what you had to say. You know what? Slim's but always the airhead the whole time. You don't know what's happening. <laughs> Yo, like, cause, cause I, I only heard like some of your side. I never got to hear your side. Yeah. You know? yeah. So like, it's all yeah. like you know his side. You know, of course, I, I don't know. You nothing. wanna know something crazy? Yeah. What's up? We'll end it with this. Was it Kai Omar's wedding? Yeah. Okay. Kai yes, Omar's yes. wedding. <laughs> wow. Look, look, look. I forgot about that. Yo, Yo the, Fuzzy I'm, remembers everything. I'm, Yo, he remembers I'm, everything. This is before I knew Adam was even mad at me. Okay. Yeah. I'm dying for him to come. I had just found out something happened to, I believe, his mom or dad, and I had FaceTimed him. No answer. Called him. No answer. Texted. Can't wait to see you at the wedding. I go to the wedding. Find out Adam's not coming. I'm shattered. I don't know he's mad at me yet. Me and Slim uh, meet up. We walk to my car because I wanted to show him something. We're walking to my car, and I ask him something about Adam, and his face just goes white. Wow! And you can tell. So yeah, you me does not know how to like. You can, I, I'm, I'm a bad liar. You can tell, me. and I didn't know. He already knew. Adam was yeah. mad at me. Adam didn't like me. Adam had something like that he was gonna do. I had no idea, but I saw it in his face, and I always remember that face because I realized, <laughs> damn, like he knew from early on there was something wow. that I didn't wow. know about Yo, how so Adam felt. Pretty much felt. what he's trying to say is you're fake, Slim. You're there no, the whole I'm time fake. smiling, I'm not fake. smiling, walking hey, to yo. his car. You were about to walk to yo, his car. Can, can I be honest? I, I, I didn't know Adam was gonna do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, you, know, was, you know what it is? To be yeah, fair, not, for Slim. He was like my, my old my old team. They were talking to me. They weren't talking to Slim. Some had no clue with right, what's happening. Slim, they, 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 I, I, I was out. And they, like you know, he knew stuff was, was going out. on, but he didn't yeah. know the details. Yeah. I didn't know the details. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, but I, I, that shows I had no idea. I was still. I thought Adam was gonna be at the wedding. and We were gonna have a good time. Like it was that much oblivion. Wow. Like, as I no said, idea. as I said, like I, I, I thank God. I thank crazy. God. I remember everything. I, I thank God that I'm gone and through like through this through a toxic phase that I had. Yeah. I never knew it was toxic because I thought maybe if it's a boy and a girl relationship, it could be yeah. toxic. But it can also be toxic having like a friend. Yeah. Having like a, someone who's a, trying to do business with you. It can be really toxic. Oh yeah. So at the end of the day, no I'm glad we're all here. Yeah, no That's communication. No communication. Yeah. That's yeah. it. At the end of the day, we're here. And uh, to the future, I really hope all of us in the future, we get to do something crazy big and each of us get to do achieve our, our goals. Let's do it. Yep. Yeah, and we're going to end it there. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get yeah. a year? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, you got to go yeah. yeah. That was so Aussie, bro. Yeah. Aussie, Aussie. Oi. Um, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next week. Make sure you guys subscribe, rate, review the podcast. Every um, uh, single Tuesday. Yeah. We Love you guys. New episode. Of Socially Profiled. Peace. Yeah. See you next week. Peace. Profile when he Socially Profile when he